What's up, guys? Welcome to your Daily Dose, Joseph. I'm your host, Joseph Jace Mantano. And in the last episode, we took out the Imprisoned. Now, this time, we're gonna apparently be going into a flooded Faron Woods. Hopefully, she was exaggerating. Because, you know, old ladies, they like to tell stories, you know what I mean? Real quick, I'm not sure if I've showed this yet. Ooh. Yes, good. Okay, got two bird feathers, but one was blue. Blue are more rare. I think we've been over this, but I only ever had one, apparently. So, holy crap. Now, we are going to go find Groose, because he wanted to send us flying sky high into the that place. Farm Woods. And in there, we were looking for... Well... Presumably. You know, I don't think I've actually doused for this guy's plant since beating... Yeah, and that's the direction of Faron Woods, I think. Yep. So that definitely means we need to find... Oh, hey, buddy! A way to get there, which is Groose. Want to head to Faron Wood, do ya? No sweat. Just hop into the Groose Nader and I'll fling you over there. <laughs> Alright, man. Oh, man. This is gonna be something. <sighs> Welcome to the flooded Varon Woods. Alright, so this place got demolished. I don't know how the water is able to keep up, but okay. I had a marker over there apparently for some reason. Now, if we come over here, you see the ouch. Duh, the Kikwi leader is sitting on top of a lily pad. That's weird. I honestly don't see that being possible, but whatever. Oh, cool! You're, you're the one from before. Come to think of it, I've forgotten to ask you your name. I see. Joseph, is it? Now there's an odd name. Cool. Uh, what brings you to see me? The, the water. I'm looking to find out about the water. What's happening here? The old lady can't get here. Cool. It's good to see you again. Yes, things look a bit different here, don't they? You don't say. Water came gushing out of the base of the tree behind me and flooded the entire woods. I don't know what caused it, but I suppose it will clear out the monster infestation. Cool, so you won't hear me complaining. Well, okay. So, from what I, what I get from that is... We should head into the base of the tree and find out where he is. Let me see something. I wanna... That's Blue Choo Choo. Can I... Oh, no, 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 no. Get off of me. No, I can't profile them. Oh, oh. It, did you see his eyes? They, they, I knocked his eyes off of his head. Oh, God, I'm about to drown. I guess, to be fair, he is a, a gelatin blob of mass of blob thing, but his eyes, they popped right off of his body. Okay, oh, death trap down here now, jeez. Alright, and good for us, it's not blocked off or anything like that, so we get to go right on in. And now, oh no, I forgot that I had a water limit already. There we go, those bubbles, oh, and those bubbles will refill your oxygen, which I don't understand the logic behind that. I think the Mythbusters actually tested that. Not exactly that, but pretty much the same thing. They went underwater with a car and popped open its tires, I think, and tried breathing in air out of the tire, and it just wasn't working. So I think this is the same 
that would be the same concept, but I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm an adventurer, man, not a scientist. to dip in uh, even a toe in my waters without my leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember you. You're the young human who helped me recover from my injuries some time ago. Ah, uh, Joseph, was it? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at you. Yes, you seem to have gotten a good deal stronger than the last time we met. And look at that sword. You're the real thing, boy. It's clear you are the spirits of the hero of the goddess. Let me guess, you swam all the way here to try and get me to teach you part of the song of the hero the goddess entrusted to me. How? What? Fine, yes, you got me, but how? Why didn't, well, whatever. That's all well and good. But I can't go around giving any something, that, <clears throat> giving away something that precious to every hero who flunders into my waters. How many heroes come in here? No, I think a final test is in order to ensure you are in fact the one meant to hear this melody of mine. I have the sword, dang it! This may be news to you, but some very irksome monsters have been overrunning my woods as of late. Well, I decided that I'd had enough. The easiest way to deal with the awful things was to flood the whole woods. You don't even think about anybody else, do you, lady? As it happens, almost every inch of greenery in this area is submerged. So, it's the here, in this flooded land, that I will test you. Oh, I've been through enough of this, lady. If you're up to completing the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you with the melody you see. Shut up and give me the song! As you just saw, I have split the melody you seek among many tad tones and I have hidden them around the forest. You and your fish puns. If you haven't already guessed, Joseph, here's your task. Take this score and collect my, all my little musical friends out there. You can use that score to figure out how many tad tones are in each group. Find them, collect them, and bring them back to me. <laughs> If you can do that, well then I'll just have to see you as someone worthy as the learning of my song. The song of the hero. <laughs> she is trying us. I don't care what she says. She's just bored. So, oh, this is, hey, this guy's got something to say. What do you want? Hey! Are you collecting tantons? Yeah, I am, bro. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll let you in on a secret then. Some tantons hang out in groups. You have to catch those similar tantons one right after another, or they'll swim out of your score. If you want to catch a bunch at once, use a spin maneuver to draw in nearby tantons. That's your best bet. Aside from that, it's really just a matter of keeping at it. How do you know about this? Like, it's supposed to be a big deal that I'm the hero, and only I and the dragons, you see, you spin through that hole, and it fills up a whole thing. Yeah, it's a lot. But it's supposed to be that I am the hero, and only what's-her-face and I should know about these 
so why does he know? I apologize, my motion plus is all out of whack. One second. Alright, and it's back. Good. So, real quick, before we get any more tad tones, I want to pop out of here. Oh, okay, can't get up on logs. Only makes sense. I'm not even gonna try messing with this little lily pad. I'm just gonna do it the simple way before I'm here forever. Okay. So let's see if we can find in here a plant for old owl. Oh, looks like there's a plant on that lily pad. Come here, buddy. And don't worry, I know he said that they fly out, but I don't think they fly out of the already existing one since I filled up an entire chunk. That won't go away. Oh, hello again, Quick! I've been hiding out for so long, my shoulders are stiff. What shoulders? How rude. I do have shoulders, Queen. They're just not very pronounced. No, they're not. All I was trying to say is that constantly hiding from danger is a stressful way to live. Cool, Queen. I bet there are still tons of horrible monsters out there waiting to scratch me and do mean things. Cool, Queen. We Kikwees have to spend our entire lives hiding like this just to survive. Kweeku! Maybe if you make your shoulders more pronounced, they'll be more intimidated by you and won't come at you. But sometimes I wonder, Kiwiep, isn't there somewhere peaceful I can live without fear, without having to hide? Uh, yes! Yes, place in the sky, made of gold. You might have heard of it from a Goron. Oh, that's fantastic news! Kuku! I want you to take me there as soon as you can. I can verify that with the only 40% accuracy that this person is a plant. However, Olin's field of study includes catalog, uh, ca yeah, cataloging unidentified plant species. We can take this creature to Skyloft using the robot. Would you like me to call the robot? I don't want to say please, but it looks like I have to, so please, yes! Yes, Master, I will signal the robot with a telepathic transmission. Oh, yeah. Short pants. I'll show you some short pants. Wrap you up in short pants. Too short to wear pants, anyways. Wait, come on. Mr. Spy! I hope you weren't waiting too long. So you want me to carry this? Zerp. Move it! Move it! Zerp! Forcing me to tell you this every time reduces my overall efficiency. Bzzz. Why not just go around me? You can fly! I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Bzzz. Shut up! Just go! I'll be here for another 20 minutes just because of your insolence. Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and carry the Kikui to its destination quickly. I say no. I say, screw the robot. I want him to suffer. I'm just gonna go get me some tad tones. Uh, something I want to talk about. Yesterday, the Xbox One was announced. And I was uh, giving it not—I wouldn't say praise, but I was—I was all chill about. It. Like, oh, <laughs> Xbox One, yeah, that's good. Good news, bro. No, 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 that ain't my life no more. They ruined it when they came out. All right, you—you you had me at Xbox. You lost me at full price used games. I mean, come on. What kind of crap is that? It, I don't want to go into details about it, but it. I'm just saying I'm not going to be doing anything with the Xbox One in the future, which makes me sad because I love my Xbox 360. Now, I'm sure the games are going to be just as good, and a lot of people are mad. There's like, oh, they're not even making it a game console this time. It's just an entertainment hub for your uh, living room. No, guys, they're showing you the new features. Calm down, okay? But... If you're about that life, if you are willing to pay 60 bucks a game, that is good for you, and that's, you know, fine. Have a good day of time with it. But I won't be doing that. I will not be partaking in this next Xbox, sadly. Uh, something else to talk about is that they also cut out headphone use. You will not be able to use headsets as of yet. They are saying not now. It doesn't look like... Uh, well, no, it's not that you're not going to be able to use them, it's incompatible with the ones you already have, because they just want to make it inconvenient for you, my mistake. Thank you, Fi, for correcting me! Haha, <laughs> that's one little fat toad. And also, I hope you guys realize the pun there, they're toad tones, tadpoles, they turn into toads, you know, and then they're tones, because music, you know, you see where it's going. So... 
I just, they completely ruined it for me because the Xbox One looks nice, it looks pretty, but they, it's, for the average Joe, pun intended, it's a little too much to pay 60 bucks per game. And yes, you can buy a game used, you could go to the store and buy it off the shelf for used prices, probably like 15 bucks. But when you get home and plug it in, you'll have to pay 60 bucks online to play it. And you might be thinking, well, how are they going to manage that without making you pay another 60 bucks for the first time you buy the game? You go to the store, buy the game for 60 bucks, and when you open it up, there is a card in there with a code for a first time free install. Everybody else that uses that, di that disc after you won't have that code, however. Ted Town store oxygen in their bodies, so when you catch one, it will restore some of your air. Well, that's good news for me, especially because I'm a human. I need oxygen. Is that... What's over? Okay, you get out of the way. Oh, apparently I got Tad Tone from that. Oh, my God, they're all... There were two in there. I thought there was a Amber Relic, and I was all confused, but Tad Tones are better. We need those more than we need Amber Relics. We don't even need Amber Relics anymore. We've updated everything that needs updating. Now, it just depends on if you're a weird guy and want to update your... Uh, Thing I'm do, Hickey. Your net. There you go. Just daily. Losing words by the minute, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, where's where are they? And if you hit those purple bubbles, as you may have guessed, uh, and no, I'm not talking about the enemy. I'm not talking about the Zelda enemy. I'm talking about these purple bubbles right here that are flying around. If you touch those, you lose air, and it makes your air drop quicker till you get to the surface. The pretty bubbles are poisonous. Be careful. If you breathe one in, you'll choke. So, exactly what I was just saying. Thank you, sir. Thank you for not coming a second too soon. Moving on. Not going to say anything about that. Looks like... Nope. Dang it. I thought you were a tad tone. That's just a Hylian bass over there. Speaking of that... I'm surprised this game doesn't have a fishing mini game, and I'm a little sad that it didn't, because with Motion Plus, I feel like it would have been amazing. But oh well, it's it's not all that important. It was a, uh, I mean, fishing has been in most Zelda games, and it's a fun thing to do. But it's, I was about to say it would have been pointless because there's no heart pieces or anything for getting it. But if they put fishing in, you would have gotten a reward for it. I'm sure. So I'm stupid. You can catch those rogue tanned toads with a spin. It will pull them toward you, so you can grab them. Oh, but I guess you humans use air when you do that, so don't go overboard. That's weird, I'm already underwater. I can't get more overboard than this. So anyways, moving on. Oh, here's one. Ah, but is that just one, or is that... No, there's a second one. Where is it? Oh, God, I'm going to choke. Okay, good, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay. You see, there's a lot of these things, and it's going to take you some time to get them. But, I mean, I'm sure there's a science to it. There's... Oh, no, get off me, get off me. That was unacceptable. Ooh, an amber relic. Sure. Okay. I <laughs> Sorry, I had a little freak out. I thought I was drowning, and then there were tad tones, and now there's these guys. Um, okay. Welcome to the party. Hey, Joseph. Some nasty fishes seem to have swam their way into the flooded woods. I'd hate to bump into those things underwater. Cool. Watch your toes. My toes? Why do my toes matter? I'm swimming. I could swim if you cut all my toes off. You know, if somebody cut all my toes off, I'd probably go swimming more often because it'd be like having flippers 24-7. Does it work like that? I doubt it. I'm, I'm probably stupid. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. So, don't even worry about anything I have to say. I'm dying. Oh, God. But if I ever say that, if you see me and I say, Oh, I'm dying. Oh, God. Then you come help me, sir, citizen. Because, please, I don't want to be left to die. Uh, something else is, uh, today, uh, we went to see Star Trek Into Darkness. And that movie is probably my favorite movie of the year so far. That's weird. That There's a water bubble? There's a barrier? Why are they putting... Whatever. But Star Trek Into Darkness. I'm not even a Star Trek fan. I never really watched the old series. But I watched the new movie, like the 2009 one, 
with Antonio the other day, and I loved it. And then we went and saw the new movie, uh, Into Darkness, and it blew my freaking mind. So, even if you're not a Star Trek fan, it's got something for you. Because I, I understand, like, you might be thinking, oh, it's Star Trek, it's just going to be boring. They're going to be walking around the ship talking, and it's going to be, you know, a space drama. It's... I can understand that, because that was my thought at first. I'm like, Star Trek movie, that would be boring. And I was... Oh, <laughs> oh no, you didn't. No, you did not. Mm. Get over here. There we go. No! What? What? Okay, he did die. But I was proven wrong, thankfully. And I'm happy I watched it. It's definitely something I think you should consider if you're at all into sci-fi movies or anything, games even. I feel like... I feel like movies are the next best thing to games, sometimes. Like, games obviously have a complete difference. Games, you control games. You, it's interactive. A movie, you watch it more than once, it's gonna be the same each time. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it more than once. But, still, I... Even then, with that said, I, there are some times where you can watch something that you've already seen no, get over here! And find something new about it. Which has happened to me plenty of times with movies. But it's. It isn't the same, because there is a difference. Like, oh, this time I'm going here. That's why there's such a strange copyright thing for video games online. We don't know how to treat them because we don't know how to view them. Like a movie, if you upload a movie, yeah, that's copyright. Somebody made those images and that audio, put it together, and now you're sharing it with the world for free? Yeah, they made that so they can make money. I mean, more than making money, of course. It's not all about the money. It's about entertainment and everything. But with, with video games, it's like, yes, Nintendo made this game. But I made this recording. So who has the rights to it? And a lot of people have been talking about that. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but Nintendo has started doing content ID matches on YouTube Let's Player videos. And if you don't know what that means, it doesn't mean anything if you're a partner, or if you're not a partner. But for someone who's a partner, it could mean the world. Because their life is probably dependent on those videos. And basically what a content ID match does is they get all the money that that video would have made from a partner. So it takes money away from the Let's Player. And so it's kind of on the same line as general copyright, but they can't, they don't want to get rid of it because of, oh, they made the video, we made the game, so we get, yeah, it's weird. Cool, Joseph, can you hear me? I thought of something good. Why don't you come and chat with me for a moment? Cool, why do you have to make me work? Can I just get the tad tones? There's a lot of tad tones to go, you know? I'm gonna make my way to you, and if I stumble upon some tad tones on the way, then so be it. Alright? Then Soviet Russia. Okay. I'm stupid. Ignore me, pretend I'm not here, pretend I'm not speaking, because I obviously don't have anything intelligent to say. Hello, sir! who defies gravity. Then again, he's larger. He'd be more buoyant. Then again, he's... Oh! Not in the water himself. He's on something that's in the water. He would weigh it down, then become buoyant himself, wouldn't he? Then again, he's so furry, I feel like he would just sink because he'd soak up all the water. Cool. How nice to see you again, Joseph. How goes the tad tone gathering? I'd actually thought of something you might be interested to know. Why do you all know about this? You see, it's like, hmm, how should I explain this? Cool. There was a technique used when searching for the others of my tribe, remember? That! Use that thing you do, cool, and you'll have a much easier time getting those tad tones. So, dowsing? Oh, fine, can you do this? Signs indicate that this is a reference to your dowsing ability. It is a valid suggestion, Master. I am familiar with the unique aura signatures of tad tones. And now searching for these tad tones has been made ten times easier, which is good because we have half of them. I'll calibrate your dowsing ability to look at tad tones. Uh, you cannot use your dowsing ability underwater. Understood. So let's see, where do we go to find some tad tones? Alright, looks like I'm going back in. 
even though, like, that's that's not news. That's kind of something you expected. Because I gotta swim to get the tad tones. But yeah. It's still nice to announce it! Okay, I missed them all. I missed them all, and now I'm drowning. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is gonna be the stupidest... Alright, cancel. This is gonna be the most stupid death. And Okay, it's all good. And also, Antonio's breaking me. He's fixing my grammar. Good old graduate boy decided to make some something out of me, I guess. I don't know. Uh, speaking of that, yeah, Antonio freaking graduated from high school, and he's all like, I'm going to college in months. Something. He's going for game design, so that's awesome. You may be seeing me Let's Playing his game at some point. So, that'd be hilarious. That'd be a weird kind of thing. That'd be really... I don't know. That, it just seems like it'd be very <laughs> weird. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid. I think I see some tad tones down there. You're there. No. Nope. Tad tones. Tad tones. Hey. Hey. Come on. Yeah. Good. Okay. Can I? Can I get? Are there any more? Or I have to go to the surface. I have to go to the surface. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on. One more. Yes. Okay. <sighs> All right. Now let's get over here and do some more dowsing real quick. And no, 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 that was stupid, that was stupid. Okay, these ones don't flip, good to know. Uh, any nearby? Nope. Okay. So, next closest ones are far away. But, nothing we can do about it. We are a little over halfway done. I can't really tell because of the press A and then waggle your thing symbol is blocking. But, either way, I think we should be just about done here. Come on. I just want to get some air. They're not in the grass. How disappointing. Where the heck are they? Up here? No. Where are they? It said this direction, didn't it? Come on. Don't cheat me like that. That's not cool. This game's a cheater. Oh, hey! Got something for me? Oh, come on, speak! Speak quick, dang it! If you don't collect time zones and some... You've already spoken to us. Why would you have a speech bubble? And why was there a green guy? Oh! Okay, here they are. Yoo-hoo! Is that the end of it? Okay. Are there any more in this area? The problem with collecting these tad tones is it's not like any of the other collection things we've had where they kind of set it up for you to go in the right direction and follow a path to get them. I mean, maybe there is, but it's harder to see because they give you so much freedom. I mean, there's no there's no more freedom than swimming around. There really isn't. I mean, it's, well, uh, well, they do call it swimming through space, I guess, for a reason then, don't they? Alright, Tadtones, Tadtones, uh, any others? Two... Alright, looks like there's two more sets of Tadtones. And I really gotta figure out a better way to transport myself. I'm bad with words right now because I'm focusing on my oxygen tank thing. <sighs> I've been watching too much space movies lately, even though there was only two. Two? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Either way, they really got to me. I keep, I keep thinking about space. Space is destruction. All right, uh, close your ears if you don't want to be mine. Excuse my language. <laughs> oh, okay. But space just totally destroys my mind when I try thinking about it. Does it go on forever? But the, if, even if it goes on forever, there has to be a stopping point. At that stopping point, what is there? Is there walls or something else on the side of the wall? If you make those spiky things explode, you're in for a world of hurt. They're like bombs. I know that. Thank you. I've played with these guys more than once. Eh. Oh no. That's one. Hey! Little guy! Little guy! Hey! You stop that! Get over here. Okay. That's good. So that's one. So I only need one or two more sets. I don't know. Is there an easy spot to douse from right here? No. Let's just keep going. Look down here. There's a nothing. There is a nothing. Alright, screw these guys. I'm getting up on dowsing. Whatever. 
Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't. I'm dying here. Okay. So, that's... Oh my god, alright. They're right over there, but are there any more? I could have sworn there was more over here. Alright, cool. That's the end of it, then. Sweet. And they're, like, right there. Oh, no, they're gonna make me, aren't they? This guy, yep. Oh, did, what, did he get out? He's not coming to me. Why, Dow's, Dow's, dash, past him. So he's gonna make me work for this. I see where this is going. Alright, little guy. Let's get you out from there. Take this whip. And, or not. Fine. What do I do? Take the whip to the other one? What do you want from me? Oh. I see. Ah! Did that did that work? No, what am I supposed to do? Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Alright, that guy's no help at all. And this thing pokes me to death. What do you want? Okay. Screw this. This is that's not cool. Is he supposed to be in there? Is he trapped in there? I don't understand. What items do I have? Gus Bellows. Sure. Sure, why not? Fine, I'll drop a bomb on you, baby. Drop a bomb on you. That did nothing. I have... Is he the last one? What is this? I don't see any more. I don't even see any more on the chart. Yep. Wait. No. So what the heck is this? I don't get it. What is he? Nope, I see it. I see it. He's the one. He... Okay. Alright. Let's get you out of there. Okay. Um... That doesn't work, does it? Nope. Alright, figured out thanks to the help from Phi. Oh, the <laughs> okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. I have a fairy, right? I've gotten one game over this entire game. I'd like to keep it that way. It wasn't even a death game over. It was just a me failing game over. Alright, um... Looks like I'm going back inside the old-fashioned way, then, since that's trying to push me out. Oh, no. Oh no, I gotta get air, I gotta get air, I gotta get air. I'm gonna die, alright. I'm gonna freaking die, alright. So, what we need to do over here is get into this tree. Okay, nope. Okay, I was, I was very afraid I thought I heard Charger. So, we get into the tree, and now we're gonna have to see if we can make our way back up to the top. I'm pretty sure we can. I feel like it's probably where they want us to go in the first place. No, because after the thing finished, I... After the cutscene finished, I had... To, it put me outside. And put me right out front and next to the big guy, right? I think so. Can you go first person? Yeah, that's cool. You can go first person underwater. I never noticed that. Love those little details. So, alright. Now, if we can get up here... If she won't block us... Dang it! Frickin' wall and frickin' physics. Frickin' game. I mean, I know it's not physics. I know the Wii doesn't exactly have physics. I mean, I'm sure some games do, but they're not in this game. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? It's my, it's my health. Yes, it... Uh, shut up! I understand my health is low. That's what the bleeping sound's been for for the past 25 years. You don't need to tell me. Okay. So, oh, pea hats. Pea hats? What? What? Where's that? Where's that take me? Does that take me somewhere? I gotta, gotta get up there. That's probably just a shortcut to get up here, isn't it? Dang it, man. That's cool, though. I like that. Alright, alright. And they're. How are you alive, but your brother and are dead? Even the blue guy, the blue guy is stronger than you. Ooh, ornamental skull! 
Thank you, Twilight Princess, for influencing this game a little too much. So now, just as before, nothing's changed on this ride up here, I don't think. Except, hey, there's butterflies up here. Can I? I wouldn't expect it to, because this isn't exactly the ground. So he's right there, so now, let's not mess this up, Joseph. Run and jump! <laughs> and now he is free. Thanks to Fi's advice. <laughs> My Fi is not the same as your Fi. That's why I enjoy this one. This one actually helps me. Where did it go? Okay, good. Good, good, good. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yes! And we're done. We finished. Joseph, you've gathered all the tadtones, haven't you? That's no small feat, or should I say, no small beats. Quee! Oh, yo. Ahem. <clears throat> Anyways, during you <clears throat> hurry and return to the water dragon. Why does everybody know about her? But the, it isn't it something for the hero and the hero alone? I don't. Why? Anyways, they're making me work. And if you see over here, there's a... What's that thing called? A goddess cube that we still have not been able to get. Don't worry, I know it's there. I will be getting it. Calm down. It exists, therefore I must have it. That's the way it works with everything. That's why I'm going to have a PS4 and Xbox One, even if I have to steal them. Just kidding. I'll only be getting the PS4. So, now if we can find those P-hats... Again, that would be phenomenal. There's my boy! Conveniently placed right next to a couple of, uh... Or, a single... Low tad. Fine, because I can't remember what it's called. I'll just call it a freaking Pokemon. Alright. So now... We'll take the song back to the dragon. Even though we know the song now, because we kind of heard it. And if Link has any musical talent, I assume he'd probably be able to recreate it with his harp. But... Apparently, he needs to be told by the water dragon. Hey, lady. I'm dying over here. Mm -hmm. Ah, you've brought back all my colorful little tad tones. You are indeed worthy of being called a hero. This much is clear. I'm good for my word. So I will teach you my part of the song you seek. Originally, I had planned to keep these woods underwater so that those awful monsters could never return. There's worse monsters in the water now, and you're ruining the home of so much wildlife, lady. But your task is far from over, and you're not exactly at home in the water. I suppose I'll return the woods to their natural state. Good! All this excitement has been rather draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd best be on your way as well. Yes, as I suspected, the water levels in Faron Wood has have dropped. The 
forest has returned to its former, less aquatic state. Master, the melody you just acquired is one part of the song of the hero. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons in their respective areas to learn the other two parts of the song. I suggest we wait and do that later because I've been recording for 40 minutes and I don't want to see this place. Anyways, welcome back to Far On Woods, the way it's supposed to be seen. So tomorrow, we're going to head on to Elden Volcano and see what we can find there. Hopefully a dragon, since, you know, there's three places only, and there's three dragons only makes sense. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you tomorrow.